Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here, and then we are into the second session of this uh, SSP actually. Fine. I hope that uh, my voice is clear for you. Somebody can say yes to me. Is yes, it? sir. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, my voice is clear. Okay, good. So let me go then. Uh, what happens? I share my screen now. Uh, before we begin now, we are going to log in as the EMP3. EMP3 is nothing but a cat admin actually. Click on sign in now. Fine. We are not logging in as a EMP3 actually. So he is a catalog administrator. <clears throat> So he's a catalog administrator, you know that. So you're logged in. And then we will now have a synopsis of what you have seen yesterday, actually. So we'll open up. Then open up the SSP flow. SSP flow is the one in which we are now doing the selection of fine. Locations have been created. The categories have been created. The items are created. The users are created. The roles have been done. Now we are into expense account. Now fine. The expense account has to be assigned. We are in this part, actually. And then we have made him as a procurement agent also. Mm -hmm. that. So we'll now have a look at one more synopsis of this. Now I go to the file. <clears throat> now go to the file and then open up my file. I'll now say what's called <clears throat> your uh, SSP. Right? Not there actually. <clears throat> Upload question SEM content. Not there. Right? Let me go there and then open it up. So go there. <clears throat> So I will not go to this place, fine. I will not go to the CUCM training. And then here I will not go to the fourth one now, fine. I will not go to the 65th document, actually. 65th document. So there's nothing but what? SSP process, actually. Right? Double click on it. So in a company, it is a, our company is uh, uh, situated in Gurgaon. Fine. We are having a manufacturing facility at Gurgaon. And then we have a Delhi headquarters in which all the purchase officers, all the sales officers, everybody is sitting here, you know. And then the marketing managers and then the sales representatives are distributed throughout the country, actually. So we have a marketing manager who is in Bombay. And then whenever he is in need of any, any item, like a laptop or a visiting card or a suitcase, he will now raise a requisition. So the purchase requisition will be approved by his GM, actually, <clears throat> his general manager or somebody. And then once it is done, what happens, it will now go to the, what happens, the respective procurement department who is sitting in Delhi, and then they will now make a PO. And then once when the PO is made, then he will now receive it. Find the supplier, he, he may be asking for a Dell laptop, actually. And then the Dell laptop is, let us say, manufactured in Calcutta. So from Calcutta, they will now ship it to Bombay and not to Gurgaon. Fine, it will never come to Gurgaon. So the Dell company from Calcutta will now ship it to Bombay's residence, actually. So the requester will now receive it. And then that, that is the process. So SSP is totally what? Self-service procurement requisitioning and receiving. So that is the total concept of a self-service procurement. So that is why. So we are now setting up. So we are in the cat admin now. Fine. EMP one, EMP two, and then EMP three is a cat admin actually. We'll go there. We'll now have a look at it. One second. We'll go there. Now go to this place. Fine. Come back. So he's a cat admin. So EMP three is a cat admin actually. Is a government. And then he is a man who is sitting in Bombay. He's a marketing manager. And then EMP2 is a sales representative who is sitting in Madras. Brother, what happens? I made a mistake actually. Fine. EMP1, EMP2. Uh, it's okay. Fine. EMP1 is a person who is sitting in Madras. And then EMP2 is a person who is sitting in Bombay. Actually. So now what we are going to do is uh, we are now going to first of all uh, provide the expense account for that. So for uh, what happens? Uh, providing an expense account. First of all, you'll now go, and then, go to the system and then have a look at it. Now, fine, on it. We'll now go to the tools. <clears throat> And then go to the navigation. I go to the tools. And then you go there. And then the role which is required for a cat admin. Now, fine, cat admin. We'll not go there. Go to the security console. We'll not query for it now. The role which is required for a cat admin is what? You go to the users. Now, fine, click on the users. And then go there. Fine, into the T01. And then enter it. And then query for it. The third end. So if you give what happens, this role, fine, it's called procurement catalog administrator. So if this role is given, then what happens? It will be visible for you. So we'll duplicate. Now, what happens? You can go there and then you can very well see this now. <clears throat> we are not duplicating it. Fine, not. So, once when you what happens, do it. So, you can now see on the procurement, the catalogs icon will be coming. So, if you click on the home icon and then go to the procurement, now, I click on me and then you go to the procurement, back click on go to the procurement and then you go to the procurement. <clears throat> go back here. You go to the procurement, now, go to the procurement. So go to the procurement. Here we can now see the catalog icon. So this icon will be available if you give this role now, fine procurement catalog admission. But since I have given PRC all, PRC all is for all the activities on purchasing, fine, all the modules of purchasing. 
And remember, this role is available only on the mission. No? Fine. On the client location, you won't be finding this. This is a customized role created by Oracle University, actually. So that will not be available for everybody. Fine. So because of which, what happens? You're not getting everyone. Fine. You're not getting requisitions, agreements, orders, receipts. Fine. Everything is not coming. Each and everything is coming. So that way it's coming. So, but this is responsible for what happens here, this thing. And now what happens to how, what happens, this is the expense account created. We need a custom uh, human resource specialist role. I have already created an offline account. I will not go that click on. I will not show you, but how I did it, offline click on. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then I have now created one custom Hachara's role now. I click on it. And then click on search. I go there. It's called manage percentage main. Data percentage main. Security percentage main. So I go to the manage data security, manage data security, manage data roles and security profiles is a, is a task name. Right? You will now click on the task name. Right? Go there. So here, when I go and then create a new one, if I click on new one, and then I will now say something. <clears throat> and then I give a tab, no, fine. I'm opening it. So I will now say, is a human resource specialist. Human resource specialist, C -A -A -L -A -S -T. Right? And then go there. And then we are now choosing the ORA one. Fine. You choose the ORA one, fine, click on OK. It will now say a warning message will be coming. Now, if I click on next, a warning message will be coming. We already have it. Now, fine. So this has already been customized. Fine, it's OK. Click on OK. Now, fine, go there. In this place, what happens? You give view all. Fine. View all. View all. And similarly, what happens everywhere? View all. That means what? We're having full powers, actually. So when you give view all everywhere, fine, like this, what happens? We are doing everything. And then finally, what happens? I have not done the review and then submit. Now. So by submitting it, what happens? We already created. So one role has been created. A custom HRMS is now created. And if you go on the query for the 301, fine. Click on search. You will now find the custom HRMS created. So it is having full, full powers with the view all on everything. So and that has been assigned to mine. That has been assigned to mine. So the T01 HRS is now assigned to mine. Fine. T0 EM EMP3. And then afterwards, after assigning it, what happens? You run the import user role as well as LDAP. So it gets synced to the transaction systems. So it is not done. Fine. Click on it. Now, what happens? You go there and then we will now provide the expense account because let us say he is going to be the <clears throat> marketing manager. So whenever he purchases any laptop or any suitcase or anything, whatever he wants it for the business, what happens? It will all be hitting this account. So the management, what happens, will be taking a report of how much of money is being spent by him actually. right? And then they will now see how much of sales he is making it actually. So they will now make a comparison of the sales to spend actually. And then they will now see whether it is really worth or not. Right? If it's not really worth it, they will not inquire. Maria, your sales is not only so that way they will not ask him. <clears throat> so it is for basically what expense tracking actually. So this account has to be put on the employee's name. All the self service procurement requesters must have the expense account set properly. So I have now given two accounts. So, click on it. so let us now set this account. Fine. Since I have now I have a custom Achara's role, uh, custom Achara's, uh, Achara's role is there. Fine. Click on the home account. I will now go to the my client groups. <clears throat> I will not go to the my client groups. Now, fine, click on it. I will not go to the my client groups. And then here, you will now find one person management will be there. If receivables, if CM is fully installed, they only will do it. Otherwise, what happens? We only have to do it. Then go to the my client groups. So, this way, we can very well do The person management will be coming only when you have a custom HRS role, which is having full, full powers now. Fine, click on it. And then it will be coming. So, let me query the first employee now. So, here, what happens? Always last name, comma, first name. Fine, EMP1, comma, space, fine, T01, underscore. This is the way you have to query now. Fine, click on it. So the first employee, fine, click on. He's a sales representative in Madras, actually. So go there. So he's not coming. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the employee in the bottom. So click on the hyperlink on the employee at the bottom. <clears throat> You're not clicking on the hyperlink on the employee at the bottom. You go there. So click on it. And then drop down. And then here, what happens? You'll not perform an update now. Fine. Click on that. Fine. The message is coming. Fine. And then click on it. You perform an update now. So now we are going to make an assignment change. Action is a mandatory field. Drop it down and then make an assignment change now. Assignment change. Fine. So click on okay. So here. Uh, the assignment of an expense account is now we are going to do now. If I click on it. Go down, go down, go down. Go down. In the bottom, what happens? You'll be having what? One expense account. <clears throat> Employee's expense account will be coming. Now go there. So go there. Go down, go down. Uh, it may be slightly over. Probation period is there. Uh, par. Uh, UK, fine. Go there. Australian workspace. Manager data is there. Uh, it will be below. Now, right? Go down, go down. Now go back to comment. Now how will go the expense account actually? Bar remarks. Probation period is there. Direct reports is there. Expense information. This is the one. So in this place, we are now going to with the expense information of the third employee. So I have already taken some example on. <coughs> I will not take it obvious. I will not take away. I will not paste it now. So whenever this guy makes a requisition, what happens? Is this becomes the account. Find the account. 
ಗೊತ್ತದ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಗೋ ಅಪ್ ಅದನ್ನ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅ ಸೇವ್ ಸೊ ಗಿವ್ ಅ ಸೇವ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸೇವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿ ಹೆಡ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಅದನ್ನ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ನಾವು ಸೇವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಅದನ್ನ ವಿಲ್ ನಾವು ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಟ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇವ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಅದ ತ್ರೀ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಾ ದ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾವು ಸೇವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಮೇನ್ ನಾವು ಫೈನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾವು ಸೇವ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಫೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಸಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾವು ಸೆಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ಮೆನಮ ಹಿ ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಏನೋ ಹಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ರೆಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ Uh, that particular town will become the default if i click on close now fine no doubt similarly what happens will now go for the second employee now go the second employee emp2 <coughs> comma t01 underscore he is a marketing manager sitting in bombay now fine click on search so click on the hyperlink of it and click on it and then go there and then we will now edit we will now perform an edit so edit and then here what happens perform click on done now and then go to the edit and then click on update and then go there here what is what assignment change so click on okay now fine so we are going to so with the expense account the input go down now fine click on it and then go there so go down so this will not default onto the requisitions whenever this guy is not making a requisition oh <coughs> go there part uh manager details fine over so expense information is the one fine over retain age fine over probation notice period fine over direct reports expense information in this place what happens we are going to provide expense information for this employee so this account the first employee emp1 is having 131 and then here it is 000 all are 000 the thing the remaining fields are same now so okay so you only have to talk to the financials and then ask the expense information of every employee otherwise if a cm is there a cm knows the expense information of every employee right? so they may be situated any in many many places in the throughout the country actually so they will know it right? so go to the place bank so click on save and then uh, click on review and then click on submit save is there and click on it and then click on okay and then we are going to review it now so click on review we are reviewing it so on the review what happens we'll be saying the bottom one what is the proposed value you can very well see now so we are now seeing fine click on submit so save review and then submit to the way you are doing now fine if you do in other order it will not work properly in save review and then submit there is the order in which we have to work on the person management actually on the person management go on fine click on it so click on close so now these accounts will be getting defaulted whenever these guys make a requisition you know that expense account so now what happens you know and then we have already made him as a procurement agent fine so that he can very well make a purchase order actually mm -hmm. no so now go that click on it i'm not have a look at the procurement agent fine go there so so a procurement agent is a buyer now emp3 has been made as a buyer now fine click on it we'll now have a look at so click on search now i will now go to the manage procurement agent manage procurement agent. procurement percentage fine the agent percentage fine and now we'll go to the place i have already made it i'll go on make a search <coughs> make a search so agent name is what emp3 <coughs> comma t01 underscore last name comma first name comma space first name click on search now you already made it otherwise order you give a plus and then make it so he is already order as a procurement agent now he can very well make a bpa now i am not going to make a bpa fine this guy is not going to make a bpa for all the items so fine so we are going to make a bpa for desktop you are going to make a bpa for laptop and then we will now make a bpa for visiting cards also fine all three things you are going to make now click on it so you will not go ahead and then make a bpn right click on the home icon so this is a this is what about the the uh, cat admin is responsible for doing all these things or sometimes what about the uh, the purchase officer will be making it either the cat admin or the purchase officer will be making it fine go to the procurement so depending upon the company what about they will now see who is going to make this right tomorrow this is for ssb purchases remember right so whenever <clears throat> what about the the we need to buy what about the laptop or visiting or all these things so all these things you will not make a bpa so that whenever these guys make it what happens it will not get converted into po automatically pr to po automation is automatic now fine through the prp automation whenever the requisition is now approved by the what happens the appropriate in charges they will not get converted to po automatically and remember and the individuals are going to receive their houses right on the residence they will do it it will never come to gurgaon at all gurgaon is a manufacturing facility there it will not come but if the people who are sitting in gurgaon also want it they can also make it right? they can also receive it right? they can also what happens create a requisition from the gurgaon right? from the appropriate uh, user login now thank you got it thank you got it and then here what happens they go that i will not go to the purchase agreements and then i am going to make a new agreement right? they are going to make a new agreement so click on the task list and then here what happens they go to the agreements and then what happens they create an agreement you are not going to get agreement thank you got it you are not going to get agreement <laughs> 
So we are not creating agreement. Fine. This is a blanket purchase agreement. Is the one use one business unit. Fine. Supplier is what I'm going to say ABC Consulting. So you know, use the ready-made supplier actually. I'm going to supply side. Everything is coming. Fine. On this one, everything is coming. Fine. Click on create. We are not creating it. So we are not creating a purchase agreement actually. So for all the SSP items, they will now make the what I'm the BPA ready actually. So that their work will be very less. Actually. So whenever you are making a BPA, it will always have effective date. Right? I will not say it is not effective date. And then in our company, we normally make it for three months actually. But, so here I am not just making some days. Fine, so normally in our company, it is a three days effective date. After every three days, what happens? They will now review it, and then I will now say if there is any change in the purchase prices and all, they will now make a change. And then the agreement amount, what happens? I will not say a huge amount now, right? some amount, whatever it is. And then go there. So the agreement amount gets copied into amount limit, and then the amount limit is a controlling factor for all the releases against the BPA. So every PO, every SPO, which is released against the BPA is considered as a release. And all the releases put together cannot exceed the amount limit. Right? That is the way it is being configured. The MR is already explained. I'm not doing any MR at all in this place. The minimum release is not tested, actually. It is already tested on the BPA itself. And then go to the lines. I click on lines. I will not make that. What happens? The 0101 is the item. Right? That is a desktop. T0101. And then give it a tap. It's going to come. So you can now see the category is also desktop. Right? There's no category is coming as a desktop. No that. So go there. So I will not say the price of the desktop is what? $100. So I will not put $100 as the price. Right? So go there, click on it. And then select it. And then what happens? You go there and then edit now. So the desktop is coming with the desktop as a category, actually. Desktop as a category. Right? So click on edit. Now. Click on edit. I'm going to edit the line. Right? Click on edit. So the MR I'm not giving at the header level. As well as what happens? The MR at the line level also I'm not giving them. MR, fine, go there. Price break also is not tested for community or non duplicate We are not testing any agreement on the ground. So none of them are getting tested down. And the price breaks are also not tested. Allow price rate is also not tested. Everything is tested on the BP actually. So in this case, we are not doing anything. We go there directly and then what happens? We will not give one, one price break. So we don't even give the price breaks. Price breaks are also not there. So if there is a price break, what happens? You can even test it down. For the community or non community everything is there. The bottom item attributes are for SSP purchases. I will not give what I was a long description. No, fine. I will not say uh, T01, fine. Desktop, fine. I will not say it's a BPA long. We have an item long also. Fine. I will not say it's a BPA long. So I am not giving a long description of BPA long. So go there, supplier identifier. No, I will not say the T01, fine. Sub, fine. I will not say uh, identifier. <coughs> identifier. No. Supplier URL. I will not say what happens. HTTP, URL, fine. I will not say oracle.com. Some uh, uh, supplier exact your manufacturer. Right? I will not say Oracle. <coughs> Somebody right? manufacturer is URL. Right? I will not say HTTP colon right? Dell dot com. So they must be a real value. No? Manufacturer's part numbers. I will not say it's, uh, one two three. That right? is the part number. So attachment URL. So whenever you are creating a desktop, what happens? We have to have an attachment URL actually. So but what happens? All these URLs must be added to the image directory. But I don't know how to do it. Is a system now. So what I did is I have already uh, added all the attachment URLs into my website actually. If you go there, uh, in this one, but uh, somebody please teach me about how to attach them into the systems images directory. Fine. So I have my website now. Fine. So I know about how to do it now. Fine. In this place I don't know. Fine. It is the images. So I have an images directory in my website actually. Oracle.com slash images. But you have to really what happens upload it into the real URL now. Fine. Click on it. If you go there, you have what happens this one now. Click on it. So this one now, uh, EU tickets, uh, even dev 99 up to com. And then afterwards, if you put a slash images, it's not coming at all. Right? Slash images is not coming. Images is capitalized. Click on it. But whereas what happens, I am able to what happens, view it now. Click on Oracle. Now, 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 now. So if you go to the images directory in my website, it's all available. So go there. So go there. this is the attachment actually. <clears throat> so I will now see an attachment. Click on it. Uh, what I will do is I will now put what. Uh, an attachment is coming now. So desktop item, I will not put it. Right? So we have a thumbnail also. Fine. We have a thumbnail. But what happens? I will not attach the desktop item itself. Right? Right? If you click on it, what happens? It will not show you the URL actually. Right? So let me take up this copy. Now, frankly, on it, the desktop item is a URL. Right? No, I will not take all the way. So this has to be whatever it is. It has to be published actually. But whereas in my case, everything is published actually. So you don't have any problem at all. You will not go to the edit document. Right? So I will not put the attachment URL. Thank you, but So attachment URL is not there. So Alay's name, I will now say uh, T01, uh, T01 disk. So T01 is this lead time, I will now say it's five days. Now. I'm going to go there. UNPSC, fine. This is basically a searchable field, actually. Right? 
uh, and then uh, what happens? I will not say un space one. Similarly, there are so many fields which are searchable by the request vector. So let's say uh, the supplier uh, manufacturer. So if this is a searchable, if a guy uh, makes a search on the Oracle, what happens? The desktop will be coming automatically over here. Right? The, if a requester is searching on the searchable fields, he can very well see this BPA coming up. So I'm not putting UN one of an image URL. So in the image URL, what happens? You go there. I'm not going to put an image URL. I will not put, see, take the same copy of Nafan. I will not go there. So I will not take the same copy of Nafan. The image URL. I will not what happens? I will not I'll put the same one. Thank you. One very document. The image URL also, I'm putting the same. Thank you. I'm not putting the same one. So thumbnail image is there. So here, what happens? You go there. Uh, if you go to the space, fine. Go back one level. No, fine. We have one thumbnail directory is there. I will not click on the thumbnail directory, so it will not show all things fine. I will not say desktop thumbnail. I will not choose it. This thumbnail image. I have not entered the text also as a thumbnail. Fine. Only for easy understanding, actually. So, but in fact, what happens? They will be having real names, real thumbnail. I will not go to the place. I will not put the thumbnail you are. Availability is what? 20. So, rounding factor is what? I will not say uh, 0 0.1. No. I will not say 1. No. Fine. Comments. <clears throat> So, some of the fields are basically searchable on this. We can very well search on this. Right? So, we are now given all the all the idiomatic rules. Additional information is not required. Notes and judgments are not required. So, you so, click on OK by which what happens? The first line is now fully edited actually. The desktop is not ready. So, so click on OK. Find desktop is ready. So, the rounding factor must be 0, must be between 0 and 1. That is what I am saying. Fine. So, it is not accepting any fact. I will not say what happens? 0.5. Some rounding factor I'm putting okay. and then click on OK. Fine, the revealing are okay. So the first line is not so as and when you do it, fine, click on save now. Fine, click on save. You're not saving the first one. Fine. So 5227 is saved actually. This is the, this is the BP actually. 5277. Mm -hmm. And then I will not add a laptop. Fine, click on it. I don't go that on plus. Mm -hmm. So click on plus now. I don't go that add. I will not say that T0102 and then give it add. I will not say what happens. The price is $200. So two hundred dollars. I will now edit. In fact, click on edit, and then click on edit. No, fine, edit account. So you can now see the category also coming up. No, fine, because items category have already been modified while you are editing the item itself. Fine. So the desktop is now belongs to the desktop category, and then this belongs to the desktop category. Select it, and then click on edit. No, fine, click on edit. You want to edit? So go there, and then here again, we are not testing anything. No, fine. On the price break also, fine. Go there. I will now say the T zero one. Fine. Laptop long. The laptop long. Fine. Go there. Is a BP laptop long. Also BP, so it's a BPA because in the item also we have a long description. Fine with that. The BPA long description. BPA laptop long. The remaining I'm not selling it. Fine with that. I will not go to the image URL and then thumbnail image. Fine with that. I will not go there. So I will not put the uh, image URL. No, thank you for it. Go back one level. No, thank you for it. So go there. Go back one level. <clears throat> the thumbnail. No, fine with that. Go back one level. So in the images, what happens? I will not go to what laptop item. Thank you for laptop item. So we have an item. No, fine. Take out it. No, go there. So go to this place, fine, click on it. I will not go to the place, fine, I will not paste this. And then in the attachment, you also have no paste this. And then go there. Put the thumbnail image, you know, fine, click on it. You know, go to the thumbnail image. Fine, so you will not go back on the web. And then you go to the thumbnail and then see the a laptop thumbnail, fine, click on it. Select it. And remember, we have all to upload everything on the uh, instance image directory, images directory. The directory is also images with the capital I actually, but I don't know how to upload it. Fine. That is the biggest problem. If anybody knows it, please educate us. We'll all learn from you now. Fine. One of my students was not having any technical guy. So he has hired the Amazon Web Services, uh, what happens, uh, uh, that, web, that web website, fine. the hosting, he has uh, paid around 1,000 rupees for one year now. And then uh, he uploaded every images in the Amazon. And then from that, what happens, he took the images. But after one year, what happens? He asked the uh, implementing company to pay money and <laughs> do the renewal. But that is not a professional way. Fine, you have to do it on your own on the instance itself. You do it. He says that no, no, no technical guy is available for me to for somebody to teach me about how to do it. So that is not the excuse actually. Fine, you want So click on the laptop thumbnail and then there's a thumbnail. I will not select it. I go there, select it, and then go there. And then will not put on the space the thumbnail image. So the image and thumbnail, I'm not putting it in the laptop. No, the attachment is also there. The remaining, I'm not filling it up. No, no. So I will not say one thing is what? Uh, the UN number is what? I will not say UN. This is a searchable field, I know. Fine, UN2, no. Fine, UN2 will not automatically. If the requester search for UN2, what happens? The laptop will be coming in for shopping, actually. So click on OK. Fine. okay. So the second item is also done. And then always, whenever you keep on doing it, fine, give a signal. Fine, to some, so on, and so on. 
So you know, saving it, fine, go ahead. <clears throat> and then what happens, you know, add that. What happens, your, uh, what's called visiting card, no, fine, click on. So click on. So this is visiting card is basically a service, no, fine. They are going to print it on this, no, fine, click on this, no, fine. So it will not be an item, actually. Go there. So what happens, you go there, you know what is the goods and services. <clears throat> so fixed price services. So we'll not go for the fixed price services, fine, go there, and then go there. So the description is what? Visiting card, no, fine. The T01, fine. Visiting cards. Visiting cards the one fine. So we are not going to buy visiting cards. I'm not going to go there. So the category name is what? T01. I will not put the category also. I'm not going to the visiting card category. And then go there. The price is going to be what? Visiting card. I will not say uh, 100 numbers. Fine. 100 numbers. That is the description. I will not say the price is $10. So is the service fine? Because the people are what I was a printed actually. So for the printing services, Whatever they are not charging it. Fine, select it and then click on it. No, fine, click on it. And then click on it. And then here, whatever I will not put this. No, fine, click on it. And then I will not go to the image you are. No, fine, click on it. I will not say here, UN3. No, fine, UN3. Uh, because I'm going to make a search and then show it to you. Fine, what else? I will not go back here. No, fine, click on go back. Go back here. No, the images, whatever I will not say. What about the visiting card? No, visiting cards item. No, fine, click on it. Visiting cards item. Go to choose it. No, so it will not take the URL copy. Fine, copy the URL. Fine, go there. It's having a URL. Go there. So click on this place, not click on it, and then I will not put the image URL as well as what I'm going to the attachment URL. So I'm going to read the same thing. The image URL. So thumbnail image, not go there. I will not go back here, not click on it. So go back here. I will not take the copy of the thumbnail image. Go to the thumbnail. <coughs> so click on the thumbnail. And then I will not click on the visiting card thumbnail, not click on it. Click on it. The hyperlink is not coming. So I will not take a copy of the URL. I will not go there and then paste it. So somebody has to learn it also, but how to upload every image into your. Uh, instance the images directly. So only this much I'm giving enough angle on it. So click on okay, fine. Maybe check what happens. All the three things are now done. So we're not good. So this is a service item, fine. Is that you're going to print it? The remaining our laptop and laptop and go that want. I will not give a save no fine. And then you will not see who is going to approve it. Fine. Click on five to sounds one. Fine. Click on the manage approvals. You will not see who is going. It must be automatic. If it is automatic, I will not submit it. Five, five to do sounds one. Fine. There's application developer is only coming. Fine. Click on submit. So upon submitting it, what happens? Five to do sounds one will be getting approved actually. <clears throat> So the cat admin is now going to create your BP actually for all the uh, SSP items actually. So the document like that is submitted. It will not take some time. In the meantime, what happens? You will go there. Thank you. You will click on done. And then you will now go for the next activity. Now. Okay. So next activity is what? The catalog admin is now going to create a catalog category hierarchy actually. He is now going to create a catalog category. Thank you. So you will now click on the home icon. So he will now create a catalog category hierarchy actually. Thank you. You will now go there. Click on it. So what you will do, you will not go to the procurement. And then the, after having created the BPA, the BPA may be created by the cat admin or otherwise the purchase officer, whichever the way the company works. No, fine, click on it. And then you will not go to the catalog. So the first activity he will not do is what? Catalog category hierarchy. This is the biggest one. Now. So by which, what happens? Uh, the Bombay man can very well ask for a desktop actually. Fine, he can ask for a desktop. Whereas the sales representative cannot ask for a desktop. So we have to create a category, a catalog category hierarchy, and then associate them to the respective users actually. Fine. We had associated them to respect users. Fine. So that way it comes. Fine. Fine. So we had associated them to respect users. So first of all, we will now have to create a hierarchy. So you had to study all the SSP items and then all the people who are going to shop now and then make an Excel sheet about who can buy what. And then accordingly, the catalog category hierarchy has to be created. So the first activity is what? To create a catalog category. You will now click on it. Come back, click on it. And then here, what happens? You go there. You will not go to what? Manage catalog category hierarchy. This is the first activity you go to. Right? Click on it. You will not create the catalog category hierarchy. So you have got below the root category. There are so many things I've ever So what I will do is I will not first of all create a computer. Click on this. Let me create what happens a computer. I will not make a computer. I will not say it's a T01. Fine. I will not say computers. So computer is the one fine. Go there. So take a copy of it. Go there. So click on the description. And then image URL also. I will not go there. And right now, when a computer is fine. Go, there. go back here now. I will not find out the image you are the images. In the images, what happens? You have a computer browsing is there not click on it. I will not use the computer browsing. So click on it. This is one of fine computer browsing. I will not take copy it and go there. So take copy it. Take copy the URL and go there. I will not go and then put it on this place. Now I go to the manage catalog category category and go there. I will not put it. So give it a tab now. So once we give it a tab, the image will be available over here from the preview actually. So the image is available. So we have now created one computer browsing category. Fine, click on seven times. It is a browsing category, remember. Fine, click on it. So I have now given a browsing name also. So below which what happens, I will now create one desktop browsing. I will not go there. I will now create one desktop browsing. 
another. So I will know first of all I have to query the T01 of M. Okay, so we had to query the T01 of M below the root. What happens? We had to query the T01. Fine, there is no such a uh, query way. This thing is there, fine, not there at all. <clears throat> oh God. Fine, go down now. You'll see it's not fine. Don't go there. So keep your cursor on the T01. Uh, computer is not fine. Click on it. So go there, click on it. You know, find out where exactly the T01 is there. And then expand it. So keep your cursor there. So here below which what happens, I will now create one desktop browsing and then the laptop browsing. Two categories, I'm going to, two browsing categories I'm going to create. So keep your cursor on the T01 computer. Fine, go there, click on it. I will now go up now. Fine, click on it. Click on cursor. I'm already on T01 computers. So below which what happens, I will now say T01. I will now say desktop browsing. So desktop browsing is the one fine. So desktop browsing, fine, take off it and then put on the description. And then the image URL, I will now go there, click on it. I will now go back here, no, fine. desktop browsing, I will do. So I will now choose the desktop browsing. I will click on the desktop browsing. <laughs> so desktop browsing, I am going to choose it. So desktop browsing, I will go there. So click on it and then take a copy of it and then go there and then put it now, fine, click on it, put the image. So image is coming, give it a tap, no, fine, give it a tap. The image has to come, the image is coming. Fine, click on several things. So it is not done. Now, similarly, what I will click on plus and then I will now make a laptop browsing. Also. Fine. So please, you don't find laptop browsing. So we are now creating one more, what I was the, the laptop browsing. Fine, take it off it and go there. And then go there. Click on the description. In the image, what I was, you go there. You will now make a laptop browsing. So go there, click on it. I will now go to the laptop browsing. Fine, click on it. I will now take a copy of it now. <clears throat> So to take a copy of it, fine, go there. I will now go to this place, fine, go there. I will now paste this image to the so laptop. Place. So click on save and close. So it's not done, fine, go down, fine, click on it. No, go down. So in this place, what happens if you expand it, you will now find two things. One of the desktop browsing. So below which, what happens, I will now add item categories actually. So this is the computer, the browsing category. Desktop is also a browsing category. So below the browsing categories, we can add, an, we can insert an item category. Fine, select it. Let us know, insert an item category. So you keep your cursor on the desktop browsing and go up and go up. And then here, what happens? Insert item categories. Insert item categories. I don't go there. So we have what? The desktop item category is available. So select it and then click on apply and then click on done. It's not done. So go there. And then if you go on and see my, what was Below desktop, what happens? If you expand it, you will not find one desktop is there. And then I will also add the visiting code also. So visiting code also is having an item category. I'm going to add it now. Fine. There is a leaf level of a category category hierarchy. Fine. Click on insert index managers. Go there. So go there. I will not choose the visiting cards. Fine. Click on apply. So in the catalog category hierarchy, we can have very many browsing categories. Fine. Computer is a browsing category. Desktop is a browsing category. Below which we have these item categories. So these item categories are the leaf level of a catalog category hierarchy. Below which we cannot have any more browsing. It's not possible. So below an item category, we cannot have one more browsing. It's not possible. Fine. Browsing, browsing as an item. And then afterwards, item nothing is there. Similarly, what happens? I will not select the laptop. In the laptop browsing, I will now insert the laptop category. Select it. So keep your cursor and then select the laptop browsing. Then go there. Go up. And then here, what happens? Insert item category. I will now insert what? The laptop. So this is the biggest challenge you now. Fine. It's a very, very hard work. You have to first of all analyze all the requirements. So all the requirements. How many uh, or items are shoppable? SSP shoppable. And then how many users are there? And then who can shop what? And accordingly, we have to create a category. And this one has to be done. So we have to create all those things. So go there. So here, what happens? I will not go there. I will not what happens? Go there. Desktop building. Everything is going on. I will not make it as what? As a top category, as a future category. So I will not make the computers as a future category. The computers are going to come. That will become a future category. If you go there, top. So the future categories are what happens? The top categories. The future categories are top categories. Go there. Go there. The computer category coming. I will not make the computer category. And then otherwise, what happens? I will not say what happens. Desktop is the one now. And then I will not make the laptop also. Laptop browser. So three laptops, three items are now making as a future category. The remaining I will not remove it now. No remove. No remove it. So the remaining are not future categories. So these are the future categories. Go there. Click on it. I will not click on it. I will not remove it. No, click on it. I will not click on it. So no, remaining or not future categories. So you only have to make whichever is future category you have to make it now. Right? One is the computer, one is the desktop, one is the laptop. Right? So we are now completing the creation of all the what happens, the catalog category hierarchies as well as what happens, which are all the future categories we are done now. Right? So click on it. And then wherever the images are available, it's not showing a tick mark also. The, the categories, are, the desktops are also having images. Right? So click on that. So the catalog category hierarchy is now created. 
Now, what happens? I will now go there, and then this is now completed. <clears throat> so I will now make one catalog, and then I will now make one content zone to begin with. Right? So today I will now make one. Tomorrow I will now make the second catalog. Right? Click on the manage. So manage. So click on the manage catalog. Right? Click on the manage. So in the manage catalog, what happens? I am going there. So I will now create one desktop catalog, right? Or a computer catalog. So click on it. So I'm not going to make a whatever the create a local catalog. So there are three types of catalogs there. One of the local, one of the punch out, one of the information. I will now go there. Click on the create local catalog. So I will now make one computer catalog. Right? The, the T01. I will now say computer catalog. So computer catalog. So it this catalog contains what what? Include items from all agreements. No. Include items from specific agreements. We can even say whatever the, you put the agreement also. Uh, I can even exclude. Fine. There are so many inclusions and exclusions by which whatever they can do it now. It is for all agreements. Include items from specific agreements. Mm -hmm. And then if you include all, all master items, everything will be visible for you. Now. And then the kind of agreements, whatever they will not go there to connect. I will not say include items from whatever the specific agreements. Fine. I will not say include items from all agreements. Okay, fine. Go there. Categories. Include items from all categories. Include items from a specific category. Okay. Fine. Go there. I will not go there to connect. I will not say include items from specific categories. And, so in this place, what are the good actions and I'm going to search that. So let me associate now. I will not query for the ring zero one. Ring zero one. And then I'm going to search for it. So go there. So I will not choose the computers now. I click on computers. And then click on apply and then click on that. So this catalog, computer catalog, will now include all items, items from all agreements, actually. All agreements, but it has got a restriction here. There is what which is now having what happens, which is now below the computers now. So below the computers, we have what? The laptop, desktop, as well as your visiting cards also. So that means what? All the three are basically shoppable actually. So this computer catalog is now having everything actually. Click on it. So we are now created one catalog. Right? Click on it. So computer catalog has been created. Click on save and close now. And then we will now create the other one also. Click on it. So the computer catalog, we can now shop everything now. Right? Because it is a master one. We are given it now. Click on plus. I will now go there. I will now create another one. Click on it. And not duplicate. I will go there. So I will not go to add no I create local catalog. I click on the create local catalog and go there. So I will not say it is a T01. I will not say laptop catalog. Laptop catalog. So laptop catalog will be great to find I will not say include items from the specific categories. I click on it. I will not go to the actions. I will go to search that. So yet what I will not say. Click on search now. I click on that. I will not choose the laptop. So below the laptop browsing category, we'll not use the browsing category. Previously use it. So below the browsing category, we have got only item category. This is the only one which is there. So the top also, the previous also, we are now use the browsing category when you can click on it and then click on it, the computer one. You know. So click on apply and then click on that. So the laptop browsing is chosen now, fine. Laptop browsing is chosen. So click on save and close by which what happens there. It includes items from all agreements, but it is now restricted to only laptop browsing actually. So only laptop browsing will be done. Fine. Click on save and close. So having done this now, fine, go there. We have to what? Go there, click on it. We have to, what happens, go there. I have not get the content zone actually. So the catalog open. So we'll look at the kind of So these are three biggest activity for a cat admin actually. Thank you for the manage and so on. Thank you for no go to the manage and so on. Thank you. We'll not go there. So we'll know what happens to create it. We'll not go there. So we'll not create a content zone actually. <clears throat> so go there. So we had to create a content zone now. Fine. Right? Good actions and then create now. Right? Click on create. There is a plus symbol is not that is a duplicate only. This is a plus symbol. Click on plus. So click on plus symbol and then I'll get it. So I will not say what happens. I will not say T01. I will not say computer content zone. I am not only really dealing with only two items now, fine. So it is easy for me, but in reality, it will be very, very difficult. Now, fine. Computer content zone. So you'll be having plenty of items they are doing. It is for requisition. We'll not come to the procurement a bit later, now, fine. Go to the actions. So this is basically additive in nature. That the first one is additive, the second one is restrictive, actually. Here, what happens? You go to the active and then go to self that. And then here, what happens? You'll not go there. Query for the T01. T01. So T01. I will not choose what the computer category. So the computer. The computer catalog and so okay. Then click on apply and then click on you know, click on. So public shopping list will not come to the rate. The shopping the smart forms also will come to the rate later now. These two things will not come to complete a bit later actually. The security, what happens? I will not say secure by So it is not going to be given to only one car now. Fine, go to the actions and then go to self and go there. I will not give it to EMP2. Fine. I will not say EMP2. Fine. Rama T01 underscore. So is he's a Bombay man now. EMP2 is a Bombay man. Thank you. So I will not select. So this content zone is available only for this employee actor. This is only available. So he can shop all the three actually. He can now very well shop all the because below the computer zone, we have a desktop, we have a visiting card, and then we have a laptop also. So he can very well shop all the three actually. So go there. So click on save or close. The first content zone is ready. 
Similarly, what happens? We'll locate one more left point over there. So click on plus no point. We'll locate that. Can uh, laptop content zone. So P zero one laptop content zone. So we are now creating a laptop content zone of anchor content actions and then click on self map. So let me add the laptop browsing. Mm -hmm. So the laptop cap off. I will not add the laptop cap off. I will not again secure by workers. If you want everybody to do it, whatever is available to all, that positioning views. Or like you can do it. Fine. You have got multiple actions on the security point. They are restrictive in nature. Whichever way you want, you can do it. Now. Click on it. And select it. Go there. So it is what EMP1 actually. So EMP1 is the one point. In the search. Thank you for search. So no search for it. EMP1 will be coming. Select it now. So select it. And then this is for the Madras sales representative. You can buy only laptop and not the desktop and visiting card. You cannot wait. Thank you. So click on save and close. It is not <clears throat> So click on it. So go there. Now what happens? We will now log in and then see now. Thank you. You are not going to log in. So go there. So we will not take a copy of this and then we will not go in and log in. We will not log in. So take a copy of it. We will not go to what? Uh, the Edge browser. So through the Edge browser, I'm going to log in now. So EMP1, who is going to be a Madras sales representative, if I call that one, we're going to log in. So go there. The T01 underscore EMP1, now if I go there. So I will not log in. So EMP1 is not logging in. So he is having a, a procurement requester role, actually. So click on it. So I don't go there. So click on the home icon. So you go to the procurement now, fine, go there. So he has got purchase requisition section. If you click on it, what happens? You can now see or oh, what happens? You can only buy only a laptop actually. <clears throat> if you click on it, what am I the purchase requisition? If you go on and have a look at it, you can only buy a laptop actually. So here, what happens? The Z T01 computer is coming, desktop is also coming, laptop is also coming. But if you click on the computers, you can now only see the laptop. Now, fine. If you click on the computers, you cannot see what the desktop as well as the visiting card. Now, if you click on it, you can see only the laptop actually. Because this hierarchy top is only what? The one. Fine. So you can only see what happens. Everything is coming. Fine. Everything is coming here. The visiting card is also coming. Desktop is coming. Mainly because what happens, it has not been configured properly. Actually. So let us know what happens. Make a change on this. So in the content zone, what happens? There are so many content zones are there. Fine. So let us know disable all the content zone. Fine. Fine. This is the uh, Ava Clark. Fine. Click on it. No go there. So I will not go there and edit now. I click on it. So yes, content one is there. Fine. Come on. I will not click on edit now. Fine. Click on it. So this content zone will not see who, what are the things which are contained in the The years one, the, all the master items actually. Second so broker. So this can be associated only to Ava Clark. Actually. Clark, uh, come on, Ava. Fine. Go there. So now this will not affect us. No. It is not going to affect us. Fine. Click on it. We will not go to the second one. No. Fine. Click on it. The second one. Why not? The, what was it? This is the one. No. Fine. Click on it. Uh, Years one, Ava Clark is there. So years one procurement is there. Fine. This also I will not restrict it to Ava Clark actually. So click on it. I will not restrict it to Ava Clark. Fine. Click on it. No. So go there. So years one local catalog. Fine. Go there. Come on. Available to all procurement users. Fine. Secure by worker. I will not. Whatever. Associate Ava Clark. Fine. Click on it. And then go to select. No. Fine. I will not say Clark Ava. <laughs> Clark Ava. So let me go on and search for it. No. Fine. Go there. So this is also restricted to only this employee. Select it. And then click on apply and then click on that. So it won't be available. Fine. This content zone is also not causing any problem at all. Fine. Go that come on. This is a local catalog. Fine. This is a US one procurement. Fine. Click on seven close. So I will not click on seven close. It is not done. So US one procurement is done. Fine. Already the this is not the third one. Fine. Go that is the one. US one requisitioning content zone. Fine. Go that. So click on edit. So this is also I will not associate. Fine. Go. There are so many things that are available here. Go that. Go that. So many things are there. in the bottom. What happens? You go down. <clears throat> and then here what happens? There? I will not say secured by requisitioning. We will not secured by worker. Now I get the worker. Thank you. Actual such map. So that what happens? None of them will be basically available for it. Clark Abba is that fine. Select it. And click on apply. And then map. So none of them is will be uh, appearing for ours. Thank you. So everything is now restricted actually to a particular employee. If I go there, so you can now see everything is covered. So only these two things only will be coming up. You know, so click on that. Now we go there. And then we will not have a look at it. You know, I have no log out and login. Thank you. No log out and login. Fine. Click on it. I will now sign out and sign in. So the remaining things will Amazon, uh, all the things will not be visible at all for you because everything has been restricted. So T01 EMP1, you know, going there, right? Click on it. If you go there and see, now fine, click on it. You'll not go to the procurement, fine, click on the procurement. And then you go to the purchase requisition, fine, go there. Whatever is relevant to him only will be visible. Fine. Amazon is still coming because it is basically a punch out is coming now, fine. So this catering, I don't know how, is also maybe a punch out catalog, fine, maybe. I'll log out of it. So if you click on the computers, what happens? You'll not be able to see only what. The laptop only. Fine, click on it. You can only see the laptop. The computer is there. Only laptop is available. Okay. So give it a no. 
And then if you click on the desktop, nothing will be visible because he cannot purchase desktop as well as visiting cards because you don't have an access to it at all. Because this top level is only laptop. If you click on the desktop browsing, what happens? Nothing will be visible for you. Nothing is there. And if you click on the laptop, what happens? You can now see the laptop there. He can very well shop on the laptop actually. The thumbnail image is coming. So the first employee can only what happens? Is do this. Now I click on the no kind of that. And then you can also see via this. Now I click on it. Shop by category. If I click on it. Shop by category. You can very well do it. So computer is coming. If you expand it, what happens? You go there, expand it. And go there. Only laptop is visible. The desktop is not visible at all. He can even buy what happens via search. You know, right? So UN2 is basically a laptop. You right? can even search on this. Right? The UL, and UL space 2. And then you can search on right? it. It will be visible for you. UN2 is not laptop. If you go for US1, he's not, he's not eligible for it. Right? If you go for US1, he's not eligible. And then UN3 also is not eligible. So the only UN2, there is a laptop. He can even make a search on the searchable field on the BPH. There are many fields are searchable actually. So make an R&D and then which are searchable, you can already see you now. By the searchable field also, what happens? All the searchable fields will be visible now. Right? Like, so creating a catalog category hierarchy is the biggest challenge actually. Now we'll now go to the second employee now. Second employee can buy everything. So here in this place, what happens if you go to the second one? He can buy nothing. In the desktop, he can buy nothing. We will now log in as a second employee with a Bombay, Bombay man. He's having the top itself as a Bombay, what a browsing category. And go there. Computer browsing. And click on it now. Go there. And then here, what happens? Go there. I will now make it as what? Too. He's a Bombay, Bombay man. And click on sign. Bombay marketing manager. So he is signing in. Thank you, Monet. If you go there, and then you go to the procurement. Thank you, the procurement. And then you go to the purchase requisition. So here, what happens? If you click on it, what happens? You can now see everything. If you click on the computers, you can now see what the desktop, the visiting cards, as well as the laptop. Everything will be visible for you. You can buy everything. And the visiting card is visible. The desktop description is visible. The laptop description. Every thumbnail is visible actually. So I'll go there. So you know what happens? Go there. So you will now go done. <coughs> Fine. On the computer, you know, and then if you click on the desktop, you can now shop two items. Now, if I click on it, you can shop two items. That is what the visiting card and desktop. And click on the now, and then if you click on the laptop, you can now see this. So we have to associate the appropriate top level category to everybody now, every employee, depending upon their levels actually. And sitting and then making it on the Excel sheet is a big, big job. And if you go in the shop category, you can now see now. Previously, what happens? You're not seeing this. Now, I click on it. You go there and then see. Now, I click on it. And then go there. And then here comes it. You can now see. Uh, you can now see computers. Fine. Expand it. Fine. Click on expand it. So you can now see laptop. Fine. Expand it. Desktop is coming. But he will be able to see desktop also. I don't know why the desktop is not coming. Fine. So click on the now. Fine. I will now log out and log in now and have a look at now. Click on it. So in the category, you can now see everything. Fine. Click on shop. The computers and desktop, laptop, everything will be coming. Fine. Click on it now. You will now go there. And then you will now log in now. Fine. Click on log in. And then have a look at it. Fine. Click on it. And then you go to the procurement. Fine. You go to the purchase requisition and then drop it down. And then here, what happens? Computers is coming. So, below computers, what happens? You can now see the desktop as well as the laptop. If you expand the desktop, what happens? You can now see the desktop and missing cost. And if you expand it, what happens? You can now see the laptop also. They can buy it. So, associating the respective top category, top browsing or top categories to the appropriate employee is a challenge, big challenge. You may have around, say, let's say 30, 40 employees who are all SSP requesters. And then you may have hundreds of products. So sitting and then making a diagram on the Excel sheet is a real tedious job. Once when you made the Excel sheet clearly, then afterwards putting it in the system is a jujubi. Fine, it's very easy actually. Right? It's not a difficult thing at all. So this way it comes. So at this stage, what happens? We stop and then we will now continue tomorrow. These two are basically uh, what happens? The punch outs so they are coming over now. Fine, we will now have a look at the punch out also later actually. So creating this what happens? This is one the top categories. So whatever has been made in the top category will be listed over here. Fine, what else? The, whatever the future categories on the catalog category hierarchy will be the top categories. Actually. So we will now continue tomorrow. Fine. Are you all clear on this now? Oh, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. So we will now meet at 3 p.m. tomorrow and then we will now continue on this. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.